from a base coat of Wraithbone, paint all of the armour with Blood Angel's Red Contrast. You don't really need to worry about it pooling on the flat panels, as these will be overpainted, but make sure that it settles in all the deepest recesses. Paint all of the black areas, so the gun, the cabling and the face part of the helmet with a bad and black. Paint the white of the helmet with Corax white. Paint all the flat panels of the armour with Evil Sun Scarlet. This allows for a smooth finish across the armour plates. If you're doing a squad, you could probably get away with that even painting this step and just going straight to the first inch highlight. Um, when you're doing this step, make sure not to paint any of the deeper recesses as you lose the effect of the contrast. Edge highlight all of the armoured panels and any of the raised detail with Wild Rider Red. So in this example it's all the edges of the armour plates but also things like the raised parts of the fingers and the knuckles. Um, use the edge of the brush where possible but any point where this isn't uh, suitable just take your time and paint even lines and you can always correct with the Evil Sun Scarlet any overspill. And a second edge highlight covering a smaller area of the kind of extreme corners and raised edges using Fire Dragon Bright.
for the black start with an edge highlight again edge of the brush where possible of dark reaper on all the black surfaces so both on the gun and on the mask Once this is dry, paint a thinner edge highlight on the most prominent edges using rust grey. Um, in this example, I ended up pretty much painting the entire area is already painted, but making sure that it's thinner than the previous layer so the Dark Reaper shows through beneath. And again, remember to paint the areas of the raised detail on the mask at this time as well. To finish the black areas, do dot edge highlights on the really prominent edges using Fenrisi and Grey. Um, with black, thick edge highlights are quite noticeable, so after this step I went back and cut in with a bad and black any of the edge highlights, particularly on the barrel, that seemed to be a bit too thick. To paint the eye lenses, start with a layer of Sotec green covering most of the lens. If you can leave a bit of the black lining around the extreme edges, that will add to the effect. Paint the front half of the lens with Temple Guard Blue, making sure the solar green is still visible at the back of the lens. A smaller area again at the front of the lens using Baharoth Blue. To finish the lens, do a dot of pure white scar right at the front of the lens as shown. Recess shade the white armour with Apothecary White. Even though this is a white contrast paint, it still can look quite stark. So in this example, particularly the bump on the forehead, once the paint has been applied, I then wicked away all paint from the brush and then try to feather it out so it's not as stark a line around this when it dries. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, please consider checking out the channel where I have numerous other painting videos on Warhammer and other game systems. 